I can't get past that Penguins loss last night. Like, I still have top of my brain. Five to two is the final. Um, they don't control their destiny anymore. They need a lot of help from Martin St. Louis. Uh, then yep. they've got to take care of business against the Columbus Blue Jackets yesterday. And I was, you know, getting ahead of myself in the open, talking about how this is this team isn't owned by Mario Lemieux anymore. You know, there aren't those same loyalties uh, as before when Mario owned the team. This is Fenway Sports, mm-hmm. and the band stayed together, and it wasn't supposed to go this way. And you know, I mentioned this is the first time since 2009 that Yevgeny Malkin will play 82 games um, yep. in a season. We haven't seen that for the longest time. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's uh, anxiety about not seeing the Penguins in the playoffs and not seeing Sidney Crosby. But Elliot, we're kind of right there. Like that was the shocker of the night. It was, and I don't think shocker really does it does it justice. Um, you know, I was watching that game last night, and I was like, okay. Um, when when's Pittsburgh going to really get going here? Like, you know, it's it's like it's like when you're watching a movie and you're expecting like the big reveal to happen and it's a bad movie and the the great plot twist never comes and the credits come up and you're like, "Wait a sec, that's it?" Like that's that's what I just watched. <laughs> that's what I thought watching that game yeah. last night. I was like, and you know, I I was on the phone with someone this morning. I had a really good conversation with someone this morning. He's been in the league a long time. And he watched that game last night. And we were both talking about how mad Crosby got at Tyler Johnson on the empty netter. And, um, and Johnson's kind of like, come on, like, what's, what's the big deal here? And we were both, we were both talking about the, the same thing is that, you know, in the, like Crosby's, because he realizes how big that goal is and what it means. So he's frustrated which, you know, I think everybody understands, but you know, the, yeah. the, the thing that, the, the thing that, that that last night really represented was I think to a, to a, to this guy and myself. And I wonder if more people are going to think about this is the end of the penguin mystique under these three guys. Like you just thought that in a game like that, like for all the flaws, the penguins might have up and down their roster, you don't bet against Crosby and an 82-game Malkin, as you said, and Latang. You just don't do it. You, they find a way. Like, they find a way. And I think the, the most stunning thing for people watching that game last night was that group couldn't find a way. And, again, it's a team game. And, you know, the, the reason the Penguins are where they are is because the team isn't good enough. But you always just think that Crosby and company are going to find a way to do it. And I think that was the most shocking thing last night that they couldn't find a way to do it. And look, I think, first of all, I'm sure everybody in the Penguins organization went out today and bought a Samuel Montembeau jersey. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and like if, but if they don't, like if, if they don't make it, you know, there's, there's going to be consequences. And I, I think, you know, I mean, it's like, you look at it and you, and I think that's the thing that I was talking about with someone this morning is like the shock of yeah. that team with that leadership group, not being able to win that game. It feels like the end of an era. And again, we'll see like if Montreal comes out and, and, and beats the Islanders in regulation, it opens the door yep. for the, the Columbus game tomorrow with the Pittsburgh Penguins and they still have a shot. So I don't want to write the obituary yet on this year's edition of the Penguins. Uh, we'll bracket that for a second. We'll revisit Pittsburgh tomorrow, whether the Islanders win, grab a point or not. Uh, one of the big stories tomorrow is going to be the Pittsburgh Penguins.